Telling you, this song always jams. You didn't like it at first. No, I kind of like it now, but it thank you. Good, <clears throat> you better. It took a year, a whole year for a song. <laughs> it's crazy, Jess. All right, but welcome back, everybody, to the Get Back. Yay! We didn't think Jess would uh, be here. I don't know why they think that. I'm always here. Yeah, but it, it was getting close to crunch time, and we were nervous. We were a little nerv- nervy boys. Oh, okay. So we we had. No, to... I promise. If I'm ever like stuck on the train or not coming, I would tell you guys as soon as I can. Well, you better. No, I'm kidding. It's okay. I would tell you guys. Because a solo show with me would have been fire. What do you mean? It would have been great. Yeah, but you were ranting for an hour. Literally yeah. me ranting about Islam. And Marcus I don't know if you're pretty as me. <sighs> <laughs> you're right. I'm not. I'm handsome. <laughs> yeah, we all know who posts the views on, the, on this show. We know. We know. I mean, look <laughs> oh, at the Instagram numbers right now. It's yeah. Jessica. Talking about um, ja- Giroud? 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 Oh, you heard that? She got it right this time. She got it right there, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, she did. But uh, I'm Lewis. That's Jess. That's Dan. We'll and that. that's it. Yeah. Uh, There's literally only us in the studio. <laughs> There's no one else Again. Here. Um, and uh, we're going to discuss UFC 294 again. It's I happening on Saturday. The UFC. I You miss it? Yeah, because we haven't watched it in like three weeks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that I would miss it. To be honest, sometimes... Because I'm always at work or doing something while it's on, it's kind of a hassle to watch it. I'm like, mm. oh, I got to find, you know, I just have to make sure that I'm, no matter where I am, I watch it. And the last three weeks, I'm like, oh, my Saturday nights are kind of They're kind of dead, kinda right? different now. They've been dead for me, too. I'm not going to lie. But this Saturday, the main card starts at 2 p.m. Excellent. Oh, so good. Excellent. You get to go to bed early if you really wanted to. Okay. And Islam is going to be fighting Volk. We know this, brother. And we're going for Volk. Okay. But, because. But, but yeah. I mean, okay. First off, Daniel put a bet for Volk to win. I did. A real bet? Yes. How much money? Uh, Three for 100. Three for 100. I, I, okay, I didn't just bet on him. It's, Explain it's a, what that a, means. It's a five leg parlay. It's a parlay. It's a, it's a parlay. So he has five people winning. So if all of them hit, okay. he gets $100. Okay. I, I made up. You know what a parlay is? I don't gamble. So a parlay okay. is like where you put multiple bets in one bet. Okay. So instead of just doing one bet, one bet. My coworker one swears bet. by it. He swears he makes tons yeah. of like he makes good money off if of you're, it. If you're and I'm good, like, what? If, if you know the spreads, the money lines, I have no idea what a money line means. I have no all. money to gamble, so I'm not gonna like <laughs> make it worse for myself. True. I can't. So I had I Dumas can't. to win, Saeed mm-hmm. to win, Walker to win, Chimaev to win, and Volk to win. That's a solid list until you get to Volk. Okay. I needed an underdog to get the money up. Yeah, I know. Because it's, his money line is plus one eighty six. And that and that's a good it he's a good bet, but I don't I just don't see it, man. I don't I do you see Volk winning this one, Jessica? Do you see it happening? After what Charles did to, no, after what Islam did to Charles. <laughs> this doesn't Wait, it doesn't fare well for my boy. You know what I'm saying? But he's the one that they grabbed like within like eleven days of the fight or something like yeah, that. They, oh, Volk oh, answered I don't, the call. I don't know. No? Because was he, since he wasn't originally on the ticket, was he like... Training and yeah, stuff? Yeah. At the same like momentum as You Islam? know what's funny is he just came off of hand surgery. Oh, no, then he's losing. So... I don't see it. I don't know how. But I'm sure he was like still like being active. Like you can train your core, mm-hmm. your legs without like training your hand. I don't know. The short notice and the surgery and if Islam had an amazing fight prior to that, maybe it's... You know, I involved cut 30 pounds in 10 you know, days, yeah. which is amazing. I know. Shout out to Volk. Yo, he's such yeah, a... How do uh, you do that? How do you do that, Volk? Because I need to know. Uh, you just don't eat. Yeah. At all. You just, you just don't work. eat. You just all, don't all eat liquid. and sweat a lot. All liquid. You get all How do you feel out of- at, like that? Like, uh, doesn't your head feel like out of it? Like, don't you feel like exhausted? I mean, I did have an MMA fighter on the show. I'm just saying I had and an MMA And what did he fighter. say? How he did says, he? oh, you feel like a uh, skeleton. Feel dead, like you have a headache. Yeah. Happy. Every time you try to like move and bend down, like your joints hurt. Everything hurts. All because for you're that, not eating. All for that five mm-hmm. seconds to make the weight. All for five seconds, and then right after that, you you can eat. Yeah, you can like rehydrate and things like that. Yeah. 
And meanwhile, Islam had... That sounds suicidal. Islam had months. Months to get 50 pounds <laughs> off of him. Yeah. Volk had 10 days to get 30 pounds off of him. It's not going to be fun, guys. I, but here's the thing. A lot of people are saying that Islam's going to finish Volk. No one finishes Volk. Okay? No one finishes Volk. Say it with me now. Put some pepper on there now. No one finishes Volk. Okay? Understand? Understood. It will go five rounds. Volk has cardio. Islam was gassing out in the later rounds, the fourth round. Why do you think he was just holding on to him? Because if he got up again, it would show that he was gassed. Fifth round, clearly gassed out, and he got dropped. Do you think it's going to be as controversial as their last fight? No. It's going to be more clear this time, I think. If Volk doesn't KO him quick, it's it's gonna. I think he's going to lose the fight a little bit. So is it the only way Volk wins is by knockout? He has to win quick. He has to try and knock him out. But let's face it, Volk isn't knocking people out, really. He's TKO in them. He puts he puts some leather on him. Put some butter on them, huh? But like he's not he's not K, one punch KOing people. Especially Islam, who has a who has a really good chin, um, in all things considered. And he has really good striking defense. So I think it's gonna be really hard for Volk to navigate that reach again. And he's a good counter striker, and Volk comes in and then he got caught a couple times. It, it's it's a tough fight to say Volk's gonna win. I want him to win. It would be great if you won. Who doesn't like a double champ? You, who doesn't like two things? Two things at once. Who doesn't like that? <laughs> right? Who doesn't like that? Uh, and if Volk wins, it's just better for the sport, I think. It, it gets well, more, it would like, be exciting because he came up short notice and he pulled it off. Mm -hmm. No, it would be awesome. And they better not do a trilogy. They're doing a trilogy. They better not. They're doing the you trilogy. Want, they better not. But why wouldn't you want them to do Because it? I don't like seeing fights three times in a row. But that that's, it gets a little stale. Everything happens in threes. No. It'll feel unresolved. No. It's good. There's going to be a No, I think I that. kind of agree with why do you need three fights of the same people? Especially back to back to back. That I, that I agree with. That's crazy. That I agree like, with. Like you could have like you go, you go, and then there's a couple fights in between and then you go again. That's fine. Yeah. But not like... Kamar Usman, Leon Edwards situation. Well, he had his soul snatched from his body. I yeah. mean, remember that? That was a crazy but fight. There was also nobody at the time to face Algermain. You mean Leon? Yeah, I'm sorry. Leon. Yeah, I, I always get the two mixed up. I don't know yeah. why. They don't all look the same, Daniel. All right. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I get you. But I, I don't know. I don't feel confident in Volk this time. I don't. I, I didn't pick him to win the last fight either. But it, for this reason, all the reasons being said, short notice, had an injury, he just coming off of a hand injury, how much has he really been training striking like that? How's his cardio no, so going to hold let's up? Let's go for him. Who? Volk? Mm -hmm. I mean, I am. That's what we're doing. I am going for Volk, but I'm not going to pick him. I'm picking Islam. Okay, I'm picking Islam by decision again. Uh, because it's just... No, I'm going Volk all the way. It's it's the safer pick, and for my uh, uh, journalistic integrity, I like being <laughs> right. Um, I love Volk. I want him to win, but I, I just feel in my heart of hearts that Islam is going to beat him. Yo, doing it for the journalism integrity is crazy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm a journalist, bro. That's the title. I'm the journalist. I'm a journalist, man. You don't think I am? <clears throat> I'm happy you see yourself I'm a ju I in a speak positive facts. light. I speak facts. I speak facts, bro. You say you speak in absolutes. I don't. I don't do if buts and maybes. I do absolutes. I want. Oh, I wanted to say a bad word in that accent. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. But we also have Kamar Usman versus Hamza Chimaev, and uh, I think Hamza Chimaev is gonna do very naughty, dirty, disgusting things to Usman in that cage that involve fist to face, uh, shin to leg, and uh, fist to body. And a lot of wrapping around the waist and dragging him to the ground. Um, it's not going to be fun for Kam Kamar Usman. Um, he has old knees because he takes steroids. So it sucks for him. You know what I mean? He Has he Has he been caught taking steroids? <clears throat> well, no. But there's, there's evidence out there. You know, the spots on his back. You know, his head changes shape. Right? There's, you know, just unlimited cardio and power. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? There's, there's, there's got to be something there. There's got to be something, right? Just a tiny bit. I mean, the head's the biggest example. True. His head literally goes from like a flat circle to a dinosaur. I'm so sick. Have you ever seen Power Rangers? That's his yeah. head. That's his head. <laughs> That's his head. Right? But in this fight, I think the age is going to catch up to him. I think him not being able to be like overpowering to somebody is his biggest thing because he's very plotty. He moves forward a lot and he uses his physicality very well against welterweights to bully them into whatever he wants to do, right? But Hamzat's bigger than you, stronger than you, taller than you, and a better striker than you. So I don't see, I mean, Kamar Usman's not a bad pick, I just don't see the logic behind picking him to beat Hamza. Fair? The way you explain it doesn't sound like it's going to be a fair fight. I don't think it is. And especially okay. moving up a weight class. <sighs> Let's play. Do you really think he bulked himself up? To, no, he's a welterweight at heart. He's not a middleweight. Okay. Devil's advocate. Okay. All Go right. Ahead. Devil, I, I, I'm agreeing with you. I don't think Usman has a shot. Mm. But it's the UFC, and you always say, oh, it takes us one shot. And Usman has kind of has that power still. And going up in a weight class maybe catches him. That's fair. On, on a right, just sleeping. That's fair. I mean, I mean come on. U- Usman still is a great striker. I, I, but I have a counter to that. Do you think he's going to be moving forward or backwards in this fight? Because if he moves forward, I agree with you. But Hamza <clears throat> moves not forward. Let him, yeah. Hamza's not going to allow you to move forward on him. He's going to be the one moving forward on you. And he's not a good striker in terms of like his defense. He cannot defend a punch. He defends it with his head, which is not the way you want to do it, right? You saw the way he defended that, that head kick? Defended it with his neck. That's not how you do it, right? And I think Hamza has good leg kicks. Good striking, good shots to the body, and he's going to mix in takedowns from that forward pressure. He's going to be striking, striking, get his hands up, boom, double leg, yeah, gets him to the ground. That's what I was going to bring up, too, is like Usman's not much of a ground guy, and Shemaev is good. He's not great, but he's good. He's really good. He's, yeah. He's really good. And, and like, Usman, he doesn't have good jujitsu. Yes. That's he has good, like, for. top pressure. But he's not a good jujitsu guy. Like, he doesn't really get submissions like a leg lock. He's not putting well, you in a leg lock. Ha- should, that's not his game. That's not his game. He's a standard wrestler. I'm going to put you on your butt, and I'm going to keep you there. Chemayev can. Chemayev will. Will and can. Will and that's can. Not, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Chemayev's going to threaten a submission. Yo, Chemayev's going to be a champ one day. Shema- he is. He, like, literally. He, he really is. Like, we're watching a guy who's going to be the champ. And, th- and that's what people want to see with this fight. They want to see him versus a former champ. And when he starches Usman, I don't want to hear anybody being like, uh, I-, I knew Kamaro didn't have it. All y'all are picking him. What do you mean, Kamaro? He didn't have it. What do you mean he didn't? Y'all picking him. All because they... And here's the thing with MMA fans. If they don't like a fighter, they will t- find every little justification not to pick him to win, even though it's more obvious than it's not. Think about it. It's like, you said something crazy. Ah, uh, you're going to lose. But he's clearly better than this guy, and he has better striking, a better ground game. Yeah, but he missed weight one time. What? How does that apply to here? You know what I mean? So I, I just don't... Kamara was old, too. He's like 37. Chmaev's 29. He's young, pop, hungry. He hasn't fought in, like, almost a year and a half. Why? I think visa issues. Oh, yeah, visa I, I issues. Think I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. And yeah, I, I think just visa issues and trying to find somebody to fight him. Yeah, that's that's truly what I believe. So. What is he ranked again? I, I keep forgetting. He's not ranked in the middleweight division. This fight's right, taking that middleweight. Right, 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 right. None of them are ranked in the middleweight division. True. It's just gonna be a fight at 185. So what is where does where does the loser go from here? If, Ch- <laughs> if Ch- like if Chamayev loses, where does he go? Does he he's gonna stay at middleweight because he's he. Welterweight, listen, I like him, but, like, that's a lot for you to drain. You're a big guy. No. Stay at middleweight. Who are you going to fight? Paulo Costa? <coughs> Nobody wants to see that fight. We know you're going to starch him. 
then Kamar Usman's going to get a title shot against Sean Strickland, which Sean Strickland would would, would do d- disgusting things. I'm stuttering because I can't even focus. He's going to do dis- like. disgusting things to Usman. Usman is literally just going to be plotting forward. No, no, no. Strickland's just going to be going forward, just block, 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 jab, jab, block, block, leg kick, jab, jab, block, 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 blah, blah, block, defend a takedown, throw you off you because you're 5'10". I'm 6'3". Block, <laughs> block, block, block. One, two, boom, drop him. All right, this, this is the top five in the, in the middleweight. Mm-hmm. Okay. Marvin Vittori. <sighs> this is tough. Jared Cannonier. Okay. Robert Whitaker. Mm-hmm. Duplessis, mm-hmm. and Adesanya, and then Strickland. Duplessis should get the next title shot. Right, we, we've talked about this. He should. But he's not. Which sucks. Yeah. Be, if he... <sighs> I hate, I hate that the UFC does this. They they do this thing where they book a fight in advance already, like two months after a guy wins. That's not enough time. Give him four months, Duplessis makes that fight. Easy. Duplessis fights Izzy in four months instead of like six weeks. It's more fair, less, ri- less chance of healing, you know, getting injured again. You know, you get to heal your injuries a little bit. But the UFC likes to do this where, like, they just, like, make a fight already happen before the another fight to make this fight happen even happened. Dana, come on. come First off, come on the show. We'd love to have you. Yeah, Dana, come on, please. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Sean Strickland, come on the show. No. Sean. No. No. Um, immediately, no. Oh. No. All right. Did Jess would tee off on him. I would love to have a conversation with Sean Strickland. I know you would. I would love to, because it, it would just he, be it would just would be probably funny. just end up getting under my skin. It would just be funny. He's like, see, here's the thing, man. Like, here's the thing, man. Like, America really is the best. Like, like who goes to like other places than America? Dude? <laughs> like, who does this, man? Like, what? Like, why would I not want to be in a free country, dude? Like, he says things like that, so I can see why people uh, don't like him. Nina Drama likes him. His her, his interviews with Nina Drama are some of the best things MMA has going right now. Nina Drama is, I haven't watched They're any. genuinely, like, good friends now through the interviews. You know, he just, like, trashes her and she trashes him. And then he, like, trashes her boyfriend. Like, you gotta let her wear this, man. Like, <laughs> got your boyfriend over there sitting in the corner. <laughs> he's, he's, he's great. He's great. He's great. Maybe. You know, he know. he doesn't say the, the greatest things, um, but, you know, um, we still love him for him. He would okay? pull us a lot of views. We sh- you know? He would pull us a lot of views. Oh, 100%. 100%. If, if we I had- mean, Jessica, the views. Yeah, the views. Okay, Jessica won't be here for that conversation. I probably won't. <laughs> you, she'll be standing behind the glass with, like, her, like, uh, like pen and paper, <laughs> just like, I hate this guy, right? <laughs> Through the glass, right? Like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> True. But let's talk about something um, that's a little bit more uh, closer to my home, my heart. The Giants. Mm. Uh, yeah. It's not. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at me. Um, yeah, it's not nice to laugh at people's pain, even yeah. though he's always laughing at ours. He's always. a giant fan. Um, Always. I don't want to hear it from listen, a, okay? Listen, you know. We're Jet it's... fans. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I've heard it for 21 years. I'm going to have my fun today. We have Daniel Jones. <laughs> we have Daniel Jones, which is something that I didn't think I would need to say for this season. We wow. have Daniel Jones as our quarterback. Isn't it funny well, that Zach Wilson mm-hmm. is a better quarterback than Daniel Jones? Right now. D- isn't yeah. it funny? Do you really believe that, though? 100%. 100%. If Zach Wilson just stops doing things with his friend's moms, he's a top 10 <laughs> QB. He's a top 10 QB. Sam Lyon. Sam Lyon. You're lying. Stop. Has that I, has, that has fast, nothing to do with the why amount, he plays. For the amount of money that Daniel Jones is being paid, he is not worth 12 He's worth like. So who do you million. think they should get? Who do you want to trade him for? Caleb Williams, man, in the draft. The Caleb I, Williams Drake May. Season. How about that? You know. Are you guys gonna get number one pick? I mean, we're bad enough. <laughs> we'll get two. We'll get number two, right? Well, you need Carolina and 
Chicago to just absolutely keep Well, tanking. Chicago has Carolina's pick. Right. Remember that? So, I know. You need both of them to start winning. Bryce Young, listen, if you're out there, just win a game, maybe. I don't know. Just might maybe. As well, might as well do it, right? J- Justin Fields won a game. Hallelujah. Right? So, so we, we need to pick it up, the pace. But as, as a Giants fan, it, it's, it was tough to watch that Bills game because there were opportunities for us to really take advantage of the Bills defense, and we just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Tyra Taylor actually played not that bad of a game. Not that bad. They couldn't do it, or did the Bills, like, wake up and realize, wait, we're kind of... No, 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 no. <laughs> the, the, the Bills, Giants could have done the, it, dude. The Bills did not play well. They did not play well. At all. Like, you had this, three chances to, to be win honest, that game. This was the Giants' game to win. Now, yeah. now that you're thinking about it, this was their game to win. If they score a touchdown at the end of the first half, do the Bills come back? Probably not. I mean, you, you probably Maybe. don't. You probably don't care what happened on at the end of the game. Yeah, dumb ref. <laughs> what were you looking at? Well, well, what's the other thing? Lewis? Jessica. I know it's scripted. He was like this, bruh. Hold my hold my hoodie. Pull it. That's what he was doing to him, Waller. I'm tired. Ta- Yo, listen, man. And the fact that we couldn't challenge that at the end of the game. Well, you can't challenge a hold. Especially under two minutes, yeah. you can't. So it has to come from the upstairs. Yeah. They're, they're so, gonna, so the upstairs couldn't see that? They're not going to challenge a hold. That's pass interference, man. It's a hold. It's literally pass interference. It's a hold. You interfered him trying to pe- trying to catch the ball. They're not going to do it for P.I. either. Oh, it's stupid. I hate this. They, You know, they hate the Giants. Okay, but why are you throwing <laughs> the ball in situations? You want to know where You want to know where all those refs were, were born? Where? where? Buffalo, New York. Oh, gosh. Buffalo, New York. You think Stop so? Stop it. They are born in Buffalo. <laughs> Raised in Buffalo, and they're like, "This is real New Yorkers team." Huh? What if one's from Philadelphia? One could be from Dallas. Mm-hmm. He was from Washington. Well, they all hate the Giants. Yeah. What's in, what does Philly have in common with uh, Texas? They all hate New York. You got a lot of haters. I'm thinking about it. you. Got, you got the New England. You got Dallas. You have a ton of haters. Eagles, you got Washington. Yeah. You got Seattle for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people hate us, even though we suck. Yeah. Right? Isn't it fun? Like, typically you hate the team that's really good. Like, hating the Chiefs, justifiable. <laughs> we suck. And people are like, ah, the Giants, man. I can never root for them ever. I'm like, dog, we are one in five. That's because just <clears throat> New York. But here's the thing, though. Yeah, a York. chance to hate on a big you know, team, you know? Even though our old line is destroyed, Shane Lemieux on IR, tore his biceps. I don't know biceps. how. I don't I don't know how. Sure. Um, Joshua Azudu, ever heard of him? No, that's cool. Uh, has something wrong with his toe. He's out. And he was your best player. Justin Pugh, I, I turn on my TV, I see Justin Pugh's on the Giants. I'm like, are we back in 2014? What is, what is happening right now? Is this... Th- Look, man. And then he says, like, I'm straight off the couch. I'm like, oh, no, we're losing. I saw, when I saw um, that, I was like, is this a joke? We're losing this game. We're losing. We have no O-line. Literally, Andrew Thomas is gone. Evan Neal's there. He's basically a traffic cone. Right? He sucks. John Michael Schmitz, gone. Shane Lemieux, gone. Who else you want me to name? Mark Lewinsky, gone. Dude. We have nobody. And you expect Saquon to, to kill me in fantasy? Yes. Behind that offensive line? Because he did it against the Bills. Okay. He did it against the Bills, and I think the Bills have a way better defense. That's number one. Bills have a way better defense, and it's a division matchup. We know these are going to be close games, so they're going to be running the ball. Thank you very much. Now, when we come back from break. That was quick. I know, right? It was, It did feel quick. But um, when we come back from break, Jessica. Yeah. Let's make a trade in fantasy. <clears throat> I don't know about that. I, I, no. Let's make a trade in fantasy. Come on, Jess. We could do it. We'll see we you do a lot. after this break. All right, and we're back. Um, Yay. So, Jess. Yep. We we were talking fantasy before the break, or yep. dur- and during the break. Yeah. Um, so here, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the two trade offers that I sent to you because there's two. Yeah. Um, so the first trade offer. Daniel, you listening? Yeah. Hang so, on. Let me pull your teams up. So. Because I. Cause thank you. I, I, I gotta see this. <laughs> Can we say our names? I love our names. Uh, my name is um, CMC was Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's my name. Uh, because CMC literally is God. Okay, he's the greatest white man to ever walk the face oh of the planet. Oh my goodness! Um, so thank you all for just like listening to that. He's one of the greatest white people to ever. And you were heart- heavily considering not taking him. 
heavily yeah, you was. You were not. But but guess what? He, he turned out to be a gem. But though. guess what? I did. I did. You got lucky. Because huh. Daniel would have taken him. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and what's your team name? The Yellow Stoners. What? what? And what's it's yours? It's a min name. Uh, Danny Schuberger. Danny Schuberger. Well, Danny Schuberger. please. It's my burger. It's his burger, bro. Don't complain. And Yellow Stoners, come on. Come on, bro. Don't complain when you get burgered. <laughs> that's good. You got to admit, that's really good. I'm burgering you this week, Lewis, and I burgered you, Jess. <laughs> I've been burgering you. We still have every- a lot of games ahead of us, yeah, so slow your roll, bro. <sighs> Saquon, I can't wait till Kenneth Walker drops 30, Saquon drops 30, CMC drops 40. It's going to be a great time watching all my running backs destroy your team. Okay, anyways, um, so the tr- one of the trade offers was um, it was for Jess's two players, and I traded away, th- I wanted to trade away three. Okay. Um, my three players were Puka. Oh, mm-hmm. you changed him, I see. I did. Cause, cause you you were like nah. Okay, I'm so then it's the first trade was Puka, Moss, and, Myers, mm-hmm. and Four. in exchange for Mike Evans and Jameer Gibbs. No, <laughs> absolutely not. No, as as commissioner supposed to be my friend. I, I, as commissioner, no way. <laughs> you are not taking Mike Evans for her for nothing. That's a nothing burger from you. Are you kidding me? I think. Wh- it's a great what trade. are you doing? I think it's a great trade. What are you doing? I think it's a great trade. You're giving her Puka. Who's a number two now and because Cooper Cup is back? And he offers it to me back. when I'm desperate. It's a great trade. Mm, yeah, no. I, 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 as commissioner, I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now this Thank trade you. is a little bit more better. Okay, let me hear the it. The second one was uh, Puka, Moore. Was it Moss or Myers? I think it was Moss as well, so you can get a running back. There you go. So it was Puka, Moss, Myers. No, Puka, Moore, Myers. No, Puka, <laughs> Moore. There's so many M's. Puka, Moore, Moss mm-hmm. for Evans. Now, that's more fair. Now, I'll add Myers into it. No, you're not trading core players for one. Why not? I, 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 you're not getting rid of half your team for one he player. He doesn't real like... <laughs> And that, how do you think that makes me like, okay, so you want one player, but you're willing to give up all these players for one. So you're trying to give me like. Well, let's go through it. Puka, trash. But Puka is the number two now because Cooper comes back. But he's really good, though. But he's we projected all know, but always. We all he's know always Cooper projected. Cup Cooper, is Cooper's going to get the, the projection. A guy. Okay. okay, number one. Puka had eight targets last game. Did he not? He only caught three. Now imagine if he caught all eight. That's Imagine, 30 points. That's but 30, he didn't. That's 30 points right there, Jess. That's 30 points right there. Zach right. Moss is a number two now. Because, is he? Because Jonathan Taylor's back. He mm-hmm. had more fantasy points than him. But Jonathan Taylor's back. So he's going to be back to number two. They all have the same amount of carries. What do you mean? And Jacoby Myers is number two to Devontae Adams. Well, so he's, he's the number one. So, okay. let's, let's be fair. He's the number one. On that you're team. giving. He's, he, he is, though. You're giving. Devontae Adams. Okay. That's why he's complaining, Jess. He's J- Jacoby Myers is better. No, he's point. not better. He's just getting more touches. That's he's what I mean. He's getting shunned. That's he's not mean. better. He is, he's I not mean, better. Technically. He's not. Who puts on more points? Stop it. Stop it. Because I got Adams before when Jimmy was out. Adams was putting those points up. I thought Jimmy was playing those games. Not all of them. He was, though. Mm-mm. He only he didn't play just he, one. He missed one game. He missed only one game, Jess. But still. But he, he was targeting Adams in the beginning. And why not now? What happened? Did he, like, Did sleep he with what? a girl or something? I don't, he's a hater. I don't know. He's a hater. I think okay. he, he's looking at Devontae like, nah, he's trying to take my shine because he's too pretty or something. No, I think when uh, <laughs> Derek Carr left to go to the Saints, uh, Devontae Adams, you know, he didn't say nothing disrespectful, but he was pretty much like, he wasn't like, Jimmy's right. over the hill, over the moon that For they Jimmy. were getting Jimmy. Yeah. And he kind of like made it known that, okay, this is not why I came to Vegas yeah, to play but, with I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo. Look at the Raiders. The Raiders organization don't know what they're doing half the time. Base. No, and I the mean, truth is, Devontae Adams, you should have, this is, you should have, he should have never left Green Bay. And add, and I, I honestly think if he would have stayed, Rodgers would have stayed, and you guys could have worked this out together, but now both of you guys are licking your wounds. I think that Devontae wanted to play with his boy, Facts. And it, and, and he the, did for and, a year. And the regime that was there had the plan that Carr and Adams would stay together. Then the new guys come in and like that yeah. was a terrible reason. I want to play with my boy in a business like this. You have to be realistic. I agree. Come on, especially your boy especially from if you're trying, especially if you're trying to do the greatness he's talking about. 
You're going to settle. You're going to go from Aaron Rodgers to Derek Carr because he's your boy. It wasn't the money. That doesn't like, that doesn't equate. That doesn't equal. No, I want to be great, so I'm going to play with a lesser quarterback. It wasn't and a dysfunctional organization. Wasn't he getting paid more with Green Bay as well? Wasn't well, they were going to match Raiders. They were actually offering more, but the thing was, he. Yeah, but by that time, he felt disrespected. You're offering me this now when I asked for it a year ago. And he kind of knew Rodgers had a foot out the door. Yeah, Roger, my my other boy Rodgers, he's not trying to stick around, so what am I staying for? But the truth is, it's like... Should have went to New York. You could have gone to a better team. Him on the Jets would have been oh, crazy. My goodness. Well, they're saying... Well, they could still do it. Yeah, if got, this year, if this year totally kaputs for them, we, we got picks. Woo! We, we got can, oh my! Imagine they come back. We just traded Rogers we, and Devontae. Oh my goodness! We it's just traded McCole Hardman. We need a, a spot at wide receiver. Maybe they're making that move. Nah, th- I think. How we, many first round picks you giving up for Tay? Everyone. At least two. I would. It would have to be at least two. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you can't disrespect him for anything less. Two first round picks and what? Like a third. Third and a five. For like, get back yeah. a fourth. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's very fair. Two ones, three five, and we get back a fourth. Because even, even with Zach Wilson, I think he'll get targeted more. Yes. Right? Because Zach Wilson, okay, there, there's a level of terrible play in a quarterback to where, like, they're sneakily good. Think about it. The more trash a quarterback is, the more, like, somehow, some way – they find a way to get the ball to their best guys all the time. Think about it, right? Russell Wilson just finds a way to get the ball to these guys. He's trash. <laughs> Zach Wilson just finds, just targets Garrett Wilson 12 times. He'll catch six. He'll, he'll somehow get it done, but he's bad. How does that, you see, it's like the level of trash, right? Jimmy's <laughs> mid. Zach Wilson's garbage. How many bags of garbage? <laughs> at least three. At least three. At least three, right? The the the, the three heavy cons- uh, construction bags of garbage. Yes, is like concrete. Yeah. Some wood, some shrapnel. Zach. <laughs> I don't. That's so mean. What? I mean, he is bad. He's bad for right now. Maybe he'll get better, but right now, yeah, you are. Oh, I mean, look, he, has to, hope. he has look to. He has to score touchdowns. You know, he doesn't. He doesn't throw touchdowns. He just throws like fifteen for like twenty eight, and then like one hundred and seventy two yards. <laughs> and just let Brees Hall just run all over every single defense. Which, which is not a bad game plan. Which is not a bad game plan, but, like, you would want to see something out of your future, you know, potential quarterback after Aaron Rodgers leaves. You want to see at least him get into the end zone one time with a pass. Am I right? Yeah. Thank you. Right? I mean, that, that's been my point, is that I haven't seen the production. I mean, he's been good with, yeah. with not turning the ball over, which we talked about on Tuesday, but he's not a winning quarterback. Just like Jimmy. Jimmy G's not a winning quarterback. <sighs> He's all right. He's okay, but he's not going to win you games. Right. He's had teams that have supported him for wins. He's the game manager. Yes. The classic Wait, game doesn't manager. doesn't he have a crazy st- uh, statistic that he wins every game he starts or something like that? Well, he used to. That's He used to, but when he was on the Patriots. Yeah, he was, but that was like But also with San Fran, no? No. San that was like Fran, one year. Yeah. Oh, well. And then. <laughs> porn star Jimmy. You know something, porn star Jimmy, your boy Adams in his in the press conference the other day after practice or before practice or whatever. <laughs> he even said it. He was like, I'm not going just for wins and losses. I'm playing for greatness. I don't know why I'm not getting targeted. And yeah, they did win their last two games, but are you a playoff contender without targeting Adams? Are you a serious team? Well, the Raiders are the Raiders a joke. are not. Yeah. The Raiders are always a joke. Right. Remember but that now one you, year? But now you have a piece that <laughs> it's a valuable piece. Like, I don't – you can't be that much of a joke. Yeah, yeah. I Obviously you are. But it's like, I don't – I think with the – What Raiders, is the beef? There's beef here. Racist. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But, like, I don't know. Maybe he just hasn't – he just hasn't been looking his way these last couple games. But there's got to be a reason why. Right, I think, like – because this was happening with Why a- wouldn't you? This He's ha- the best receiver. Well, well, Why? Well, this was the same thing with AJ Brown, right? Yeah. Right? Like Devontae Smith was like dogging these teams out. And then we're looking at AJ Brown on the sideline and he's just like three catches for 40 yards. Yeah. And he's like no, like But I feel like that's been the case with a lot of receivers this year. It's been yeah. Garrett Wilson, it's been to a degree Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. Jamar Chase has been on that list. Uh 
A lot of, a lot of receivers. receivers are like. And look, when Burrow started throwing to Chase, because Chase was right, I am always open, they actually started winning. So why I don't. Maybe it's the type of routes. Taze, maybe the type of routes he's running, because he's running number one routes. Maybe he was running skinny post 20 yards up the field, and, like, he only has two seconds to throw. I mean, throw. yeah, Myers has been doing his thing, you know. But you know, it's just like, come on. I feel like if they put Devontae in the slot, let him feast on a yeah. slot corner. Get some drag routes. Get some slant routes. Get like a ten yard. Well, in. call them and tell them this. I, th- I think a couple ten yard in. T- DM them. Because Give them this play plan. Short because stories. Short stories. Let's let's keep it short. Let's let Devonte work. Let's not let Jimmy work I, I feel as much I, because he's not good enough to put in that work. Aaron Rodgers could throw you open. I, I feel oh, like yeah. I think it, like this is. But is Jimmy playing this Sunday? I th- he might. He's que- he's questionable. He's questionable. But here's the thing, right? It's like when you're looking at teams that have a good wide receiving core, you then look at their offensive line. Rangers don't have one. No. So now you're throwing double coverage on Devontae Adams, knowing that they're not going to have enough time to develop a deep ball route because what, that's what he's running. Meanwhile, Jacoby Myers is running a one-on-one slant. Yep. Who so, are you throwing? So you're throwing, <clears throat> who are you throwing to, to that? You're throwing it to Myers. All yeah, the time. Right? That, that's probably why he's getting targeted because the routes are more favorable to him. And Devontae Adams, he, you're right. He's top three receiver in the league. That's why he gets double teamed every game. It's kind of hard to target a guy when there's two guys on him. And the reason why he runs a deep route. Yes. He's number one receiver. And also he's used more so as a, like some of your best players on the team are used as decoys for like 40% of the game mostly. Yeah. I mean, all, all these Yeah, teams, but the thing with Adams is, yeah, he's double covered, but he still gets the job done. He does. That's what makes him great. Yeah. That's what makes it a mystery. What is happening but that I think, you're not I, used- I, I, I think it comes down to... How good is your offensive line? Because if Jimmy doesn't have two seconds to wait for that route to develop deep, he's not getting the ball to Adams. No. I think the only team that's been complaining that actually has an offensive line, which makes no sense to me, the is the Eagles. Yeah, the like Eagles. why? Why? Like you have the best offensive line in the league. Why are you complaining? I mean, AJ Brown wasn't getting the ball. I know. And it's like dog. Like if you give me the ball, I put it in work. But Devontae Smith is also a number one wide receiver. Hasn't like been th- that's the, the thing, though. But that's the thing, though. He he, he, he came into the season one. as the one, so he needs to get his targets as the one. It's, it, okay. it, it's a complicated mm-hmm. argument. It's very complicated. Like, Jamar Chase has no offensive line, so Joe Burrow has no time to get the ball with Jamar Chase. Mm-hmm. So that's why. And T. Higgins out for the year. Is he? Not for the year, I'm sorry. I'm thinking somebody Out for, else. like, f- a couple weeks. I'm yeah. thinking somebody else. But th- for that reason, they're going to double-team Chase, and nobody's catching the ball yeah. on the other side of the field. So like, I, I think it's a complicated issue. Justin Jefferson's like the anomaly, right? Because like he consistently puts up yards, always. I mean, I think he's the best route running wide receiver in the league. Before he got hurt, I would agree. I think Amari Cooper's still up there. I think Cooper's up there. I think Stephon Diggs is up there. Stephon Diggs has been amazing. Devontae Diggs. as Don't well, you have still Stephon very. Diggs? No, he didn't. No, I do. I mean, everybody. I mean, I also have AJ Brown. I can't so, stand you like this, you Daniel. Know. Listen, hey, I've been keeping my mouth shut for six weeks. Listen, I'm gonna flex a little bit now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Both. <laughs> listen. No. Here, here's what's gonna happen. You ready for this? Both of our wide receivers, AJ Brown and Stephon Diggs, they're gonna get theirs. Yeah. You can't, right? I like. I go into these matchups. I'm like. Okay, this guy's going to get 30-plus. I just have to eat it, right? Travis Kelsey, he's going to get his calm load 20, 25. You know what I'm saying? It's calm. Patrick Mahomes, going to have 20, 20-plus. 20 it's high. You know what I'm saying? It's high. Now, I have to, now I'm just banking on Travis Etienne and DeAndre Swift being absolute garbage cans. I have to bank on that because if I don't, I'm getting smoked. Um, and then I have to bank on his flex option just being a bum. Literally, it's just me praying and hoping, please don't get these guys the ball enough. Brennan Ayuk against that Minnesota defense. It's going to cook. Have fun. Yeah, it's going to cook. But CMC against that Minnesota defense. <laughs> Have fun with that. Well, that's what the Browns did. So. Dude, if it is if it's, uh, if it, I, if it's I, I close. Don't know, I don't know if the Niners listen, let that happen again. Listen, if it's close going into Monday, I'm winning. If I'm only down by 20 points after Sunday, I'm beating Daniel because CMC plays on Monday. Mm. And you know CMC is going to get hit. Okay. But then, I, but then again, he's going to start Ayuk. Mm-hmm. But then again, they're going to be up a lot, so they're going to run that ball. Are they? Yes, they will. Mm-hmm. They're going to get CMC the ball. Okay. What are you talking about? CMC is their if main If they're up guy. by a lot, CMC is hurt, they're not going to risk him. He's not hurt. He got his ribs are tickle a little bit. Like, he's all right. <laughs> Everything like, about him is tickle a little bit. Like, stop. His knees, as long as, at least it's not his knee. 
True. If it was his knee or ankle, I'm worried. You know? But he's going to be good. Okay? Whatever you say, dude. He's going to be fine. Jalen Waddle? Stinker. Stinker. Oh, you're praying for that. I, oh, I'm praying for like seven points. <laughs> I'm praying for Jalen Waddle to have three catches for 20 yards. I'm praying. He's begging for all my teams to get on Boston Anonymous this week. Absolutely. I'm praying for all of them to be a fantasy jail. Fantasy. Because there's there's no, no way. Because unless it's like we both score 250, yeah, which could happen. I it's think not, you guys, you know, in all honesty, you guys have good good squads. You guys can definitely put up like 250. Dude, if we both put up 250 and it I comes don't... down to like one point, that honestly, I can't even be mad. You can't be mad. I can't. Like, I, I truly can't. Like, if we both put up 250 points, like, this was the game of the year. And it just so happens that one of us had to lose. Like, if we would have played anybody else that week, we dogged them out. And look, I can take a loss. You can't. Yeah, I'm 3-3 three and three right now. I'm if I lose again, I'm just quitting. <laughs> I'm just giving up. I'm just week <laughs> seven. Yeah, week seven, and this will be my fourth game losing. No, it's not okay. Sam, At some point, I have to start winning. Sam We're went, already halfway through. Sam went zero and four, and now he's about to go three and four. You'll be all right. Okay, you'll no, be all right. No, I don't believe it. Yo, shout out Sam, bro, making a comeback. Yeah. What happened to that Cooper Cup trade? After that, yeah, great, know. great question. What happened to that? I have no idea. <laughs> he said, "Yo, everybody's on the table," and then he trades <laughs> no one except for Chase and Waller. <sighs> Y'all just gonna let me take him like, like that? that? that Yo, know, it gets me every time, bro. Every time, bro. Y'all just gonna y'all just gonna let me trade him away like that? Like what? Y'all just gonna let me get Sam Laporta? And I play Tyler Damian. Lockett? You're winning. You're winning. Derrick Henry's on a bye. Miles Sanders is out. You're winning that. You should. You should win that. Even, if you don't, your team is genuinely even without losing trash trade. You should. Yes. Even with my well, he hey. has to make some changes in his lineup because some of his people I'm looking at are on a bye. So once he makes those changes, I don't know. But right now, I'm projected like sixty-seven. Do you want? I I like I like Gibbs though. So I, do I. Mike Evans. In terms of like, and isn't Montgomery hurt? Is he? Is he not gonna? Isn't he like? Montgomery's gonna be limited. Limited. It's gonna be limited. Gonna be limited. Gonna be limited. So that means. So my guy, I would keep Jahir Gibbs. I, I am. J- I'm sorry. Wow, I butchered. Jameer. Jameer. <laughs> Jameer I am Gibbs so is crazy. sorry. Jameer, my, come on the show, Jameer. Yeah, come on the show. We'll, we'll we'll advocate for you to Dan Campbell before he eats our kneecaps. Okay, it's gonna be okay. All right. I, I think you know. I think a, a decent trade with Gibbs. If you let you Drake know. London cook you, Jeff, I swear. Oh, my God. If Drake London goes off for 40. If Drake London dogs you out, you might genuinely have to quit. quit. You might have to quit. Genuinely actually quit. Like, I would quit. Imagine getting, yo, if Kyle Pitts cooks this week. Again. Again. Yo, two straight. Two good straight week. good weeks for Kyle Pitts. What? He had a good game, huh? <laughs> yo, true. Oh, man. It's going to be all right. It's going to be okay, Jess. But we'll we'll talk we'll talk we'll yeah, talk because I actually have two spots open so I need to recruit some people. We'll talk. We'll talk. Jessica always says, you know, I gotta hit up some people for some trades. It never does it. <laughs> never does it. Or, or, or always says, I'll get to it this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to it. Like, like what's on I the weekend? Now. But I, I do. need it this weekend. But no, I do. Sorry. But because listen, because Daniel. I'm lo- I'm Daniel. waiting for reports Daniel. to come out for Friday Daniel. reports to come out. I want to know who practiced the whole Daniel. week. I want to know. Daniel, that's been my one time. Like every time she says. I'll think about it. I'm like, I want him now. <laughs> what do you mean, think? No. I don't need time for thinking. I need time no, for now. No, and because my guys. My guys. You hear this? <laughs> she has a relationship with I all have, of them. My I, guys. My, my guys. Boys. My guys. I feel like they do perform. I just, I'm just not formulating, formulating my lineup correctly. So it's just. But I don't think my guys are bad. No, I like them good. all. They're, They're all awesome. Players. Great guys. Great guys. But Debo, though, stinker. I mean, that's a tough thing to take Debo and then, like, have him just stink all the time. He did He did not stink all the time. The last two one, weeks he had have been questionable. Game. No, not one good game. Yeah, like, two, okay, two good games. No, no. Debo is, he scored zero, like, two points for you last week. Yeah, last week. How is he week, not a stinker? Last week. You just told me to be patient that it's only, like, week and, seven. And it is week seven. And he's so, questionable. Ah, it's not a good look. We're, we're about halfway through the league now because playoffs yeah. up after week 14 playoff starts. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good look for Debo personally. Yeah. And I don't want Debo. So I'm chilling. 
You're crazy. He's the reason why I won some of my games. Welcome to fantasy. You Welcome too. to fantasy, guys. The, oh, fa- the fantasy yeah. newbies. Listen, I'm trying. Oh. You know what? You know what? I'm shooting. And that's what. Ma- that's what really. And matters. I told you what I really want. She wants Lamar Jackson, guys. Listen, she's not gonna get him. Who does she think she is? Why do you, what want, do you, Lam- mean? Why why do you want Lamar? Why, why do you want Lamar? Because he was my original choice. And I'm saying, I'm, I'm, not have saying Joe I'm not saying Joe Burrow. I do have Joe Burrow, but do you want to see what he's been talk? doing for me? He had one good game. He's underperforming. What is Joe okay, Burrow? stop it. No, listen. I can pull up his what log you, right now. What listen, are you talking no, no. about? I like Joe Burrow, but he has been underwhelming for me this season. He only gave me one good game. Give me Mike Evans. I'll give you Lamar Jackson. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying that I would give up. Joe I will Burrow, put Baker I just Mayfield feel like, in my starting I just lineup feel so like fast. Jackson, if there was a player that I would trade, that I would want from your squad, it would be him. I'm not saying that I would prefer him over my guy, but I, I have golf, so that's okay. What but is Burrow? Burrow is, you know, I wish you could see Daniel's face. Let's make a splash. Let's make a splash. But Burrow has, and thank God he's on a bye this week. I'll so he'll get you, more healthy, and I think next week I'll put him back up. I'll I'll see. You, am I running here? I'll give you Lamar Jackson. <laughs> what league am I running here? DJ I don't Moore. know, Daniel, but you're letting them cook me. <laughs> you're letting them eat me alive. All these trade proposals. Uh-oh, I'm shooting from the hip, baby. Uh, I'll give you Lamar, DJ Moore, Puka Look, for is. Joe Burrow and Mike Evans. No. <laughs> no, are you on drugs, bro? No. Come on, what do I have to do to get Mike Evans? I like his game, man. He's a great guy. I like Mike. Come on. I like him, too. He was a surprise for me. You hit us? She won't make the trade. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to allow the trade. <laughs> Forget she won't make it. I'm not going to allow yeah, it. Yeah, true. A- after all the trades that I've been doing, everybody's going to be like, no, no, no. They're all yeah. going to veto it. Even if they're like, oh, it's fair. No. Yo, I'm literally putting this to a veto. I do not care. <laughs> I'm, this is not going to be put on me. No shot. I'm, I'm from hearing it from everybody. No, true. Everybody's gonna be like Daniel. How could you allow this? No, I'm gonna stick with my squad this week. You hit us every single time. It's like I'm, I'm willing. No, I was because listen, a few days ago I was very down because I lost again, so I was willing to give up some guys. But then you know when you come back to your senses and I realize you're just trying to friggin' play me. That's why no. she's a tease. That's why she's a tease. Hear this? I like Gibbs. I, I like Gibbs though. So if he has a down week, will like can I acquire Gibbs for for some good compensation back to you? If it's good compensation, yeah, I only give up. But I'm no, that's not a guarantee. I'm just saying. But I think if Gibbs puts, I'm up giving him another chance. Less than seventeen points. I would like to acquire a service. Thank you very much. I'm just saying. I would like to. I'm not saying I will. I would like to. Come up so with a talk. great package. Let's talk. Let's talk. Daniel, let's Come talk. Come up with a great deal. <laughs> Daniel hates Make me. Make me an offer I can't <laughs> Daniel refuse. hates me, dog. He hates me yes, so much. Yes, because every week you have been making trades. You don't have the same team that you even drafted. I have my four core guys. That's all I need. CMC, K. Walker, Lamar Jackson, and, and uh, A.J. Brown. That's all I need. It's called constantly trying to get better. <laughs> all right, guys? Something that she don't know about, clearly, and that he knows nothing about because he's winning with his original team. Because that's how fantasy is supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, if I still had my original team, I probably would have lost like one more game. Probably would have been two and four right now. You know that? Good for you. Yeah. No, I am willing yeah. to change up my lineup, but yeah. I want proper. You know what we I should want do proper though? value, and no one's offering me proper anything. Yeah, it is. It's great. What um, do you want to do? We should trade with Damien. <laughs> what do you want from Damien? Who do you want from Damien? I want him to have his pride back. Okay? Pride as a man. Wait, yes. what's his record? Oh, it's not great. It's, I, it can't be as bad. I'm in last place. He's two and four, same as I, you. Yeah. Yeah, and his team is... No, it's two and three. Or yeah. is it two and four? I can't believe it's I lost to him, which is crazy. God. I re- th- that was when Devontae Have I really Smith... been losing the last four weeks? Yes. You have. I've lost the last two weeks. But no, and both one of those weeks is Jimmy's fault. Cope, hard cope, cope. hard cope. cope. Cope harder. Hey, hey, hey. Cope harder. Daniel, Skip. what are you? What are you, Daniel? Five and one. Five and one. Five and one. I'm hey, three and three. Hey, right uh, now. I'm mid. <clears throat> skill issue. Sk- it's a skill issue, to be honest, right? Anyway, let's change the subject. I'm depressed. <laughs> yeah, with with two minutes left in the show, let's change the subject. 
Uh, Adam Silver wants to change the All Star game back to East versus West. No. 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 I, I saw some of that interview he did with First Take, but not all of it. But they do need to change up the All Star because it does. It's it's. He knows that they're not putting you know, on a real show. Come back, it's not the game's problem though. It's the players' problem because they don't take the game seriously. Well, they need to find so a way to not. make the All Star game matter. Well, how, well, you can't just like be like a million dollars because they all already have a million. Yeah, dollars. but maybe some type of position. I don't know. So what is it to do? Do you get home court advantage? No. Why not? Why can't that be the? Why can't that be the? The, the you know? driving factor. Yeah, if you win, your team gets home court advantage in the finals. Yeah. No. No, because that turns then that, that turns, turns that, the records yeah. into nothing. You remember what the you problem MLB oh. had with so many years when everybody was like, the winner of the All Star Game gets to have home court in the play in the World Series. Trash. Nobody liked that. Yeah. No. It's just so then the players just don't care because it's a scrimmage nobody cares about a scrimmage when you got real games to worry about when you're playing ball in the park are you caring no so should they move the all-star game they just well they need it because money is nice well yeah but i'm saying you can move it you could do it probably at the end of the season no the beginning of the season no so then why have it in the middle why have it that like if it's if no one cares if no one cares if the people who are supposed to care don't care. I think it works more. Why are we wasting our time? It works way Why more Why are we with, risking injury here? It works weller with baseball because baseball is genuinely a hard sport. To even play an all-star game, it's an all-star game can end one nothing. Yeah, but even then, they're not trying that hard. Yeah. They're just trying to hit bombs at that point. Yeah. But, like, with basketball players, I don't know. Like, they just don't – they don't feel the need to pl- play basketball to, like, a competitive level in order to, like – to care, I, like they just don't care. Yeah, you know, the NBA needs to come back. Like the first year when that's talk. terrible. Remember, like the Kobe year. What type of yeah. product? Do like you the year like after that? Kobe died, they changed the All Star game. Everybody was super competitive in that game, and that was fun. But now it's just, meh. Like, uh, how do they do it in soccer? There is no All Star game. Oh, based no? why? That's because there's like 25 leagues. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the leagues don't have the MLS does one, but they do a preseason. It's like a scrimmage for the European teams. They yeah. do. But yeah, no. We're but not you know who would be on that All Star team? Who? Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud. I think I'm watching that game. When is that game? I think it's Saturday. Uh, I don't know what I need. Paramount. Okay. You need Paramount for the Watch City. Yeah. Just <clears throat> illegally pirate it. <laughs> From where? I told you. I've tried to look for these games. Soccer games Reddit. <laughs> I tried that. It, it got me nothing when I was doing it for the college uh, game day. You'll be all right. Uh, oh, they play Juve this week. Oh, nice. That's my team. That's cute. Oh, a little rivalry. Oh. All right. I just realized that. Um, so that's going to do it for us. Okay. Tuesday, um, we'll talk about that game. Yeah. Yeah. And we will, and best believe I will have more trade proposals sent to every single one. <laughs> because I don't Dang. stop. I don't, I literally You're don't stop. You're unstoppable. No. But you know what it's called? It's called having fun, guys. Make well, a trade to fun. Um, I don't know how to have fun. It's like a drug. Right? And I like getting high. All right. Bye, Olivier. Um, bye, guys. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs>